up, guys? MA checking in, man. You know the drill. Like, comment, subscribe. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MA underscore the artist and uh, War Games ABG. Uh, I'm a little sick. Uh, my eyes look low like I've been smoking, but I, I have been doing that too. Yeah, and that's the only thing that makes me feel better. But uh, yeah, um, so if you saw the last episode of Dragon Ball Super, you were surprised and as excited as I was. Um, as you know, it's about, I think we got more, six more weeks until, um, Super is replaced by another show. Um, I don't know if they're going to cancel Super or what. I did a video on that. Feel free to go check that out. Um, I got a playlist with all those videos. Go check that out. But, um, I was thinking because we had so much time left that Topo was going to get more than an episode and a half because he had, uh, all of the last episode and kind of just, I would say just half of, well, no, we said two and a half episodes because he had the last one because he was beating up Frieza in Android 17 and then the one before that I think is the one where he, uh, where he got the power or maybe one and a half, I don't remember. He's not that impressive of a character to me to really remember him like that. Um, but I think it was one and a half though, if I remember correctly, but like I said, I'm six, so I'm forgetful. But, um, yeah, I was thinking because we had at least six episodes um, left that they were going to extend it a little bit more by giving him a little bit more uh, fight time. And he kind of just got knocked out really quick. Um, he fought Frieza, of course, uh, beat Frieza down. Um, 17 really couldn't handle his own. Um, but 17 was able, was smarter than Frieza, in my opinion, was able to jump around and keep himself from getting uh, getting eliminated. So, um, Android 17 definitely gets a lot of kudos for not being a dummy like Frieza. But we thought Frieza was knocked out. Frieza gets back up, hits him with a uh, little ray or whatever like that. Well, not, I guess a ray, whatever you want to call it. And, um, kind of, um, stuns, um, Topo for a second. Um, and what happens is after that, um, I'm playing Game of Thrones, I mean, not Game of Thrones, uh, Elder Scrolls 2, but what happened after that, uh, Jaren is pretty much like, yo, go fight Vegeta, I got Goku, Goku, and then these other bums, they're clearly nothing, we got that. So, Topo and Vegeta's fighting, Vegeta, uh, Topo feeling, feeling himself like, I got this God of Destruction power. Nah, bruh. Vegeta was like punching straight through everything he was throwing at him. And um, it was landslide victory. And then uh, the God of Destruction, uh, their God of Destruction, the little clown dude. Um, again, not a relevant character. I mean, they don't even be saying that. See, see that? So <laughs> they don't be saying their names like that. But um, I think Belmont, I think that's what his name is. Um, says, bro, just destroy everything. And that still doesn't work. So he does like a final resort, puts like two of the uh, destroy powers together and shoots it at um, at Vegeta. And Vegeta does final atonement. Piccolo realizes it. But Vegeta is so so strong, so powerful now that his body, I guess, can with, with uh, a, a, a withstain a self-destruction tactic, I'm guessing. And pretty much destroys Topo's move. And then destroys half of the stage and then knocks Topo out of the stage. And after that, Vegeta, um, Jaren was like, yo, I thought highly of, well, not highly of you, but I thought more of you. Um, you disappointed me. So I'm like, oh, but Jaren is so, it was so like, so raw. Like, I see, like, I, I feel like he's so, I, I feel like at this point he's kind of like pissed off because he's like, damn, man, I got to do all the work. Like, I pretty much got to be four people by myself because they don't show Frieza at the end, but Frieza, there's no, it didn't say Frieza died or Frieza got knocked out. So he's clearly one of the four that's still alive. Um, but at the end, they only show Vegeta, Goku, and um, in 17. But <laughs> Goku was like, why would you say that? <laughs> Jaren just roundhouse, <laughs> no, hit him with the Peter Griffin roadhouse kick straight out of the <laughs> Out of into a rock, man, and it was funny because you hear Goku yelling. <laughs> I thought that was I thought that was hilarious, man. And um, Jaren's about to turn up, and they about to see his true and final power. And I really, honestly, I don't think none of them four can beat him. Like I don't. Vegeta and Goku, they were together, and they still didn't have enough to even land 
punches on him, and he wasn't even at full power, and he's about to turn up to full power. Freeze ain't got no power. Android 17 is lucky to have some power because he doesn't run out of energy, but he's hurt, beat up. Uh, it's been clear that Kyle can Blue cannot touch Jaren, and uh, so far, uh, the Super Vegeta Blue can't touch Jaren. So I believe, in my personal opinion, I said this before and I say it again, the only way they're going to beat him is they fuse. I will use 17 as a, a distraction so they can do the fusion dance, which they probably won't do, but the, let's say the Patora. But um, I would say the uh, use 17 and use uh, Frieza as distractions um, to uh, do the fusion dance. So they can do the fusion dance, so use the Patora. And the, if 17 gets knocked out, at least they still have Frieza. So if they don't eat, if they, even if they like break even with the fusion, with Jaren and they can't beat him, at least they can run the timeout. That's what I would like to happen. Um, as far as my total review, I thought the episode was great. I would have liked to see Topo just a little bit more. I feel like he's overpowered for no reason and it was worthless. Uh, I think Jaren is becoming a bad guy because uh, he's just irritated with like having to hold down this whole crew. And I feel like he would have wished, like, damn, man, I should have just... I should just came out knocking cats out from the beginning and I wouldn't even have to deal with this with them. Um, but that's his cockiness. He should not go Goku out when he had the chance and that's his fault. But um, yeah, um, look forward to the next episode. Tell me what you think, man. Um, if you agree with what I, what I believe should happen, um, if you think something different will happen, uh, let me know, man. Let's have a uh, let's have you know some comments, some some chat in the description. Um, like, comment, subscribe, and you know the drill. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MA underscore the artist and at WarGamesAVG. Sick of checking out. Hopefully, I'll be better by the next video. Love y'all. Peace.